2560 by 1440. It's an IPS display this time around. Nice improvement. Opening it up, notice that trackpad we just zoomed over. Buttonless trackpad. Aha, the driver has been updated too, so now you can tap to click while using the track point if you like. As we take a look at the side, you can see we have the one link port connector, and this works with the new one link pro dock, so you get two video outputs on that new dock, which he's showing us right over here. Four USB ports, USB 3.0 at that too, so that's kind of nice. You also get DisplayPort and HDMI on the laptop itself. As we're looking around right here, you can see the full-size HDMI port right next to that OneLink Pro dock he's plugging into. And we have the mini DisplayPort, and there's a USB 3.0 port there. Headphone jack as well, combo audio headphone jack. Notice how thin it is. They've slimmed it down a lot, given it even more of a taper, so it feels more like competitive with other Ultrabooks on the market, even though it's got that ThinkPad durable design, the usual magnesium roll cage, real sturdy, usual soft touch black finish, not as uh, grippy as the old Raven black finish, but it's the new modern Lenovo finish. It's a little bit smoother. And taking a look at the other side, you see we have another USB 3.0 port, and that's a proprietary Ethernet jack right there, so you don't have to use a USB port, and the dongle adapter is included. And then we have some ventilation here. Intel Haswell 4th generation Core i5 i7 CPUs are available with this, the usual U-series ULV CPUs. 8 gigs of RAM inside. The RAM is soldered on board, by the way, so it's not upgradable. The SSD drive on this is an MSATA drive, gumstick shaped. And here we have it comparing the, on the right, the old X1 Carbon and on the left the new one. You can see the big difference is that change in the trackpad design. The fingerprint sensor has been moved as well. Keyboards are pretty similar, but there's something interesting about the keyboard, and we'll talk about that next. The X1 Carbon will start at $1199 US dollars. And here's the, the, the key, keyboard change I was telling you about. See that strip up there? It's context sensitive. Four contexts, depending on the application you're using. Now these are predetermined, like there's one for IE that has back and forward buttons. There's F keys for using MS Office. And up on top on the screen, you can see you can customize those somewhat, but you can't roll your own for a different application. And that touch strip up top is basically that's e-ink under there. So it's predetermined and there's little shutters that, that change what you see at any given time. Interesting way of doing things. Other stuff for the Carbon X1 Touch. You get, of course, dual band Wi-Fi, 11 BG, and Bluetooth. Eight hour claimed battery life. And that's that rapid charge technology that Lenovo uses. So it can charge up to 80% in one hour. So that's the new Lenovo. ThinkPad X1 Carbon. Well, it's touch, by the way, but they don't use touch in the name anymore. Ooh. Broke, so you're breaking the merchandise. Well, I, that chair just popped over. <laughs> so here we have the old X1 Carbon and the new X1 Carbon. 